watch the chair just completely go underneath me. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, lovely, beautiful day. Today we're getting into another unboxing. Who would have guessed it? Who would have known? But uh, really quickly before we get into said unboxing, you might notice that my hair um, is just potentially a little like uneven. Um, I have a strange thing where recently I've been cutting off like one inch of my hair at a time because deep down I really want to like chop my hair off like up to here and dye it a little bit of a darker color but one, I'm too chicken. I'm just too chicken to take the big chop. And two, I'm a little bit afraid that I'm gonna end up looking like Lord Farquaad. We share very similar draw lines. Hopefully this doesn't freak you out. <laughs> Here are my ponytails. Are these not the two saddest pigtails you've ever seen? <laughs> Enough of that. Anyway, today the box that we're going to be getting into is the cause box for the month of December. Well, it's actually the winter cause box because this comes every season instead of, oh, you know, monthly. I feel like we have a nice theme going on here. It's like fall in the 70s. Uh, and yes, this is the winter box, but it does look very fallish to me. It's still pretty cute. All right, so this box here is not a beauty box in per se. It is a like lifestyle home box. It's all, it's all sorts of stuff. I'll leave all the information about it down below in the description. This was not sent to me. This is not a sponsored video. I purchased this on my own. So let's go ahead and slice on into it. Um, here, this is a very stabby pair of tweezers. This will work. Alrighty, so on top here we have a little magazine that is going to tell us about all the products inside of the box. It goes into pretty good detail about everything. A lot of these products go to support a cause or they are ethically sourced, and hence the name Cause Box. Oh, okay, right on top there is something that looks really, really cute. I think this is going to be like the wow item of the box for the season. And uh, to be honest, I kind of knew something like this was going to be in there because I got 15 billion YouTube ads from Causebox about this said thing right here. Alrighty, so the very first thing we have here is from Season. What is viscose? It says this is 100% viscose, whatever that is. Ooh, viscose is soft. So the very first item in here is kind of like a shawl wrap poncho-y type thing. I think there are several different options that you could have received, but this one is like a very neutral one. It has a very lovely pretty pale pink band right here with two little gray stripes. And then there's like the head access area. Why does wearing something like this that drapes over your arms like instantly make me feel like a wealthy, rich, older lady? I don't know, there's something about this. This is nice. So this is really, really soft. I feel like they were going with kind of a fashion and comfort statement. They probably weren't expecting it to be worn as it is right now. And by that, I mean with this oversized butternut squash sweatshirt and these really awful sweatpants. But this is a very like long, nice, Thing. Watch the chair just completely go underneath me. So this is very lovely. It makes me feel a little bit more luxurious. So I'm, I'm happy with the first item in the box. <laughs> oh, okay. The MSRP is $115. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's so much money. My $1 thrift store sweatshirt is shaking. Uh, next up here we have... Okay, so this is from Luna Nectar, and this is a metamorphic jade roller. What the? That actually frightened me. I didn't know where on earth money sounds were coming from. Anyway, this is a jade roller, and I actually just received a jade roller not too long ago in FabFitFun, but I am interested in seeing what this one looks like. Oh, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> okay, so this looks um almost identical identical to the one that we received in FabFitFun. I mean, I don't have it here with me, but they look just like twins. So um, this, I'm not gonna take out of its little plastic seal here. I'll probably go ahead and pass this on to somebody else. But the jade roller that I received from FabFitFun, I do really like it. It's like nice and cooling on the skin. Somebody left a comment saying that jade doesn't conduct heat, so it like always stays cool, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> I think I'm swallowing some viscose fibers. Okay, next up in the box here, we have a little art print or a giant postcard, either one. I think you get one of these every single month in the cause box. This artwork is by Claire Ritchie, and I'm sure she did the artwork for the outside of the box as well. It's very, very pretty. Ooh, okay, next up here, this is something I'm actually pretty excited about because I was at Walmart the other day looking at a whole bunch of these, but I didn't want to spend $9.99 to get one. <laughs> but thankfully it came in like my 50 something dollar box. Anyway, so this is a 
2019 planner. This planner is very, very cute. I like the white and black little grid pattern on it. It's also a nice, like, hefty cardboardy feel on the outside. And I like that it has these little gold details here on the edges to keep them from, like, getting all squished up. Fairly certain squished isn't a word. This is from Idled Wild Co. And it is a monthly and daily agenda. I really, really need to use something like this and actually keep up with it. I am the most disorganized person on the planet. If you've been here for a little while, you probably already know that. Um, but something like this would definitely be nice to keep with me like at all times to remember things for me because I can't remember to do stuff. But if I write it down, I can. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. All right, next up here, I have a little pair. Well, not exactly a little pair, but um, a very statement making pair of earrings. Ooh, they sound like really nice wind chimes. All right, so here I have a pair of kind of like mixed metal earrings. These are supposed to be made in India, fair trade, handmade, sustainable, non-toxic metals, and it's also supposed to fund community development. So that's really, really great. I do really like that a lot of these things inside the cause box go to help other people and they're all fair trade and things like that. That makes me very excited. These, however, might not exactly be my style. They are a bit too dangly, a little bit too big for me. So I might see if I can pass these along to somebody else. I think my aunt really likes nice, big, fancy, fun jewelry, so uh, she might like these. Okay, next up in here, we have a little jar of what looks like tea, but this is from K-L-E-I. This is a detox facial steam. Oh, I've never tried a facial steam before. That seems really interesting. It is a spearmint and floral facial steam, so I'm really hoping it's not like very rosy. That's so many different scents. Oh, but I think I like it. I also want to taste it, but I know I shouldn't, so I'm not going to. And here's where I contemplate taking just a tiny taste. Yeah, I don't know. That smells really nice. So apparently you're supposed to add a cap full of this to a bowl, Cover with boiling water, allow to cool slightly, then place a towel over your head to create a steam tent. Breathe deeply and enjoy 10 to 12 uses. Hmm. Uh, definitely something I have never tried out before. I hear that steaming is supposed to be good for your like skin and clearing up like acne and that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure I saw that on an episode of That's So Raven like 15 years ago. What you're gonna do is you're gonna stick your face in there, it's gonna suck it all out. I don't know why that's the only reference of facial steaming that comes to mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> so next up in here, we have what looks like little ear buds. I really, really badly want those like Bose noise canceling headphones. Every time my boyfriend and I go to the Walmart, which is nightly, uh, I go over to the Bose headphones and try them on and it blocks out all the sounds of the world and it's absolutely amazing, but they are $349. So I'm not gonna be getting any Bose headphones. These will do the trick though. If they could put music in your ears, I guess they do the same thing. So the little headphones we have here are from LSTN Sound Co. These are the Crescent wireless earbuds. Ooh, that sounds like something I'm gonna lose. Okay, so they are not completely like wireless wireless. I was expecting like AirPods it's like those little things that you just like pop into your ears and there's no wires on them. Then it also comes with, I'm guessing, a little charging cable and extra little ear hole pieces. They got some nice thick ones if you have like big old ear holes and they also have like little skinny ones if you got tiny little ear holes. Oh, okay, this is awesome. So this is one thing I really do enjoy about Cosbox. Like you get your little wireless things, but also on the card here, it says, li oh, listen, not L-S-T-N, it's listen. <laughs> Listen uses proceeds from every purchase to give hearing aids across the globe through our charity partner, Starkey Hearing Foundation. So I think that's really, really awesome. And then at the very bottom here, underneath all of this confetti, which always gets stuck in the rug underneath my chair, we have this papery stuff. And it's just like big sheets of paper with the same type of design that we got on our little card. There is like a darker brown. There is a lighter cream. Oh, okay. I just looked really quickly on the inside here and it says that this is wrapping paper sheets from the Australian artist Claire Ritchie. So that is pretty cute since it is a December box and a lot of people are giving gifts for the holidays around this time. You could use some of these sheets to wrap up little gifts. I think these are right up my mom's alley and she would love to get some gifts wrapped in these, so I'm gonna do that. My mom though, she is like the strangest gift receiver ever. If she finds something out, like out in the world that she wants her Christmas, her birthday, anniversary, whatever, she'll go ahead and tell you right there on the spot and she'll say, hey, go ahead and get me this. 
you're, you're done for Christmas, good job for you. But then even if you buy it like a month before Christmas, she wants you to hold on to it and then wrap it and then put it under the Christmas tree. <laughs> so I bought her an Ironstone um, teapot set thing and I'm gonna wrap it up in this paper and put it under the Christmas tree for her, even though it's been sitting in our kitchen for like three weeks. All right, I quickly like glanced at the book and I couldn't find any other full size prices for anything in the box, but we do know that the, the Shaw thing has a retail value of $115, which is a lot of money. I will see if I can find any other place that like shares the value of all the things in this box. I'll either put it on the screen or down in the description for you guys. But I do think this was a good box. It is definitely on the more expensive side. However, I do think that you get some good quality items in it. And I do like that a lot of the things go to help some type of charity. I think that's really, really awesome. My personal favorite things that came in the winter box are the planner here and this little shawl. I need to go ahead and fluff it out a little bit though, because there is just so much viscose in the air. All right, you guys, so that was everything in my box. Please go ahead and let me know what y'all think about this box down below in the comments. Any of your thoughts and opinions are welcome down there. I really dove, dove, I really dove reading your all's comments. Anyway, let me know if you guys would like to see this box unboxed again on my channel. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I just hope you guys have a wonderful, lovely, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh, there's stickers in the back.